So I return yet again to this um, run that this continually drags on. Where was I with this mummy last? I managed to get two ruins, I know that. Um, but I don't know where I'm going from there. I'm going to drop off these. I'm going to pick up the poison arrows, the flame arrows, the dispersal. I'm going to pick up this yet. I'll get this stuff for now. We're going to do, I know for this episode what I plan to do is I plan to trek into the uh, main part of the dungeon deeper past where Israel was and try and get some experience before entering the vaults. So that's my plan. What have I got equipped and all that? We've got the ring of teleport control on. Over here we've got the sustainabilities of fire over there. Do I need to have that on right now? I'm not sure I really need it yet, but it's there if I need it. I really need to get some better equipment. I haven't gotten any um, auxiliary equipment that could be useful for preventing myself from uh, getting cold or whatever attacks from hurting me. Let's go Dungeon 20. Not sure how deep we are, but we'll see in a moment. Okay, we're down to Dungeon 17. That's not bad. Hill Giants and everything else around. There's Jorgen, there's Luis. Well, he's awake now. And that's who I don't want to be awake right now because she could banish me. So the next level is going to be kind of tricky because Luis is on it. Who do I care to least in there? Uh, I suppose the hill giant is the least threatening of this stuff down here. Let's try and do Agony on it right away. And again. And... Fire. Boom, dead. And we'll raise a corpse. Let's get the guy at the club. I'm going to stay away from the other guys over here just for the moment. I want to kill him eventually, but I'm not in a really good position to attack him. Do this. Do this. Attack you. There's a troll down there. I'll attack some attention, but whatever. Look like this. Do, 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 do. You're in range of me, so let's just do agony on you. Golf is in agony. Let's see him again. Now you can turn it off. He's dead. A couple more corpses for our army. How do I rest up again? Yeah, this is pretty bad. I come back from uh, playing Tome and now I don't know how to play Dungeon Cross on Soup. Oh, there's Luis. Um, Luis is always bad just because she can banish, but primarily what's making her difficult here is the fact that I don't have enough allies in the way that Ugh. Basically, she can devour these guys slowly. And I don't have a whole bunch of meat shields in the way to block it. What's down this way? Orcs. Orc Night Rare. Um. I suppose what I'm going to do is we're going to hit that. Actually, let's back off. Until I know if Lisa's following me or not, and what else to expect. Ooh, the troll killed my um, troll guy. If 
Fire, fire. You got a crossbow. Go like this. Poor projectile, poor projectile, poor projectile. You're dead. I think he probably picked up the crossbow. But for now, I'm more concerned about just killing this guy. He's in the way. So, agony. Agony. Draining. Dead. And done, more or less. He had the crossbow, so I don't have to worry too much about these other guys. I have to remember, I can abuse um, Channel Energy, so let's just do that a little bit. And with all these meat shields, if I find Louise, I'll have like a good chance of killing her without her banishing me. That's part of the reason I'm getting all these meat shields right, right now, just for that reason. I want my guys to follow me a little bit. That's a shapeshifter who's now dead. Charms is almost down enough for Chase to be castable. I guess I'll have to bump up the 15, but I have to also get summonings up a little bit, so we'll start concentrating on it a little bit. Get that stuff up. I should probably get Agony up a bit too. Hydroskeleton. Let's do that. Fire, 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 fire. Poor projectile, because I'm just going to lose that anyways. No longer charmed. Let's try and charm you again, because I know I can keep attacking you if you decide to... Um... Okay, if other stuff attacks it, it doesn't like it. But I can attack it. See so I can attack it then. Yep, so you can keep firing arrows at. He's dead. This is obviously a vault of some sort. There's an ogre mage down there that could possibly banish me. Let's open up with what? Probably doing with the yak first would probably be the smart idea. It bells and that will alert the queen bee. That's a shapeshifter probably. Or maybe it's a real one, I don't know. There's our ogre mage buddy. You got paralysis on you, so you probably don't have banishment. Mermaid. I got memorized, but whatever. That Queen Bee was indeed a uh, uh, shapeshifter. Okay, the other guys has got lightning. Let's kill this mermaid before I get problems from it. Kill you. Okay, all done. Yes. Heal up in the vault. A pair of gauntlets. I need to find a like, good branded pair of gauntlets, or with an eagle rider. Glowing fill, staff of summoning. It's not stuff I care about. Do I recall? I do have recall, so I actually keep in mind I can't recall guys around me if I need to.
Okay, here I've got this uh, Hydra deal. Let's try agoning him. That worked. That also worked. That also worked. Yaktar right on top of me. Well, let's agony him. I miscast agony, but he doesn't wake up. He woke up that time. And he's dead. As real Yaktar. This is a really odd vault. Cyclops skeleton. Okay, there's something invisible around me, which is gonna be annoying because I still don't have to see invisible. And I'm gonna have to do just, like a surround on it. But um I'll fire at you first. Hit you has no damage. Now the good thing here, I can sort of cast haste to run away from it. And here's where we're just going to run away. But I know it's an unseen horror, right? So just keep moving this way. And now it's dead. All dead. Wow. He's actually kind of easy now, the hill giant. At one point he was strong, now he's just weak. It's actually just a progression, don't you call it stone soup? Ah, the golden eye? Killed it instantly. There was a flame. Now, I got a good good portfolio of stuff to fight with our friend Luis if she uh, rears her ugly head basically with um, summoning and recall and everything else I can deal with her just by putting stuff in front of her so I don't get abyssed again it wasn't fun the first time getting abyssed won't be fun the second time won't be fun the third time Goes green for a moment. Hooray. Plus three. Sheep. Probably, uh. Um. Not the same thing I was looking for, but whatever. I don't have invisibility, of course, so. He's annoying. Hits me. Okay, here's a way I can deal with this, basically. I can, um, move forward. I know it's right there, right? It's like, got trident. I can do a recall. And now I'm just basically, um, recalling my allies around me. These guys still try and get to me, right? But they have to basically, um, go through what's there invisible right here. So they keep going after it. I think I'll pick up. Uh oh. You're dead. Rakashas are always annoying. Kill you first, I guess. This way. This way. Half your health. Steal from you. Both dead. There's Luis, so... 
Go this way first. Start recall. Make sure I have guys in front of me. Summon with this. Tell them all to attack Luis. That's pretty much what I'm going to do. Okay, do this. She blinked. As long as my guy's in front of her, I can take her at range, so I can, you know, just keep hitting her with, um... Uh... She's in range, so do this. Ow. Keep attacking. Just keep popping her, and she'll eventually die. This way. She blinked again. Right there, apparently. Boom. Boom! She's out of the way, so the real friend of the soul is gone. This is why I consider a fret. I don't want to get banished again. She had a Lark Shield. Let's do Amber Dead. Get a zombie of her. The zombie of Luis. And we'll go up here. Heal up a little bit. Drogon will be difficult when I fight, fight him, I think. I read in the wiki, apparently he has Shatter, so he's got like a level 9 spell. And now I've got another Unseen Horror on me, don't I? Okay, what am I going to do? We're going to cast Haste again. I go this way, and this way, and this way, and this way, and this way. Oh, I know where it is. There we go. It's easy as pie, right? It's just annoying to have to fight those things. Unseen horrors. Slimes. Um. One's dead. Back up. Or I can agony these guys. Yep, I can agony these guys. Go this way. And we got ourselves a large slime creature, because why not? Well, I can agony him and do a lot of damage. And Vampire Dream him a couple times, he's dead. Trolls. Agony, agony, pain. You get draining. Ag blah, blah, blah. Manticore. Kane just tired of getting guys next to me. And here's the re real guy I hate the most, Nessos. But of course, this time around, I've got Poison Immunity, and I can put on this over my Teleport Control. So he can't do anything there. I can just a little bit. Do this. He hates himself. He died. I'll take that death. What the heck is that? A brown ooze? Oh shoot, I don't want to empty my arrows. It's gonna eat my arrows, isn't it? Slurping noise, bastard. Vampire. 
At least with Nessus, I get to peep his stuff. Don't really need his bow, but I'll take the arrows. This way. Come on, we'll get that. Don't have my stuff corroded, so let's hit you. There's Jorgen over there. Rock showers in small pieces. So, you know, he's a earth elemental, so we can do that. Um, you are extremely resistant. I don't think I can get agony off on him. Like I can on our stuff. So let's just pro projectile. I guess, yeah, we'll pro projectile on him, I guess. But we'll put on haste first. Could crash. The dungeon rumbles around Jorgen. Don't know what that means. I don't probably don't want to find out either. And the door shatters. He blew up the door. Because he's an, an earth element, so he does that. Ow. Okay, he does a he he does hit hit pretty hard. And he can share my own guys too. And he can, you know, dig. Because why not? Let's put on teleport control for now. And just run away. There's no point fighting him when I don't have to. Why? Why? Oh, there's Jorgen. I would have taken up the Unseen Horror, but... Bull Trap. Wraith. My goal for this episode is to get down a couple levels in the dungeon and get to level 20. Let's go up here. Up and up here. Get back to down to the wire. Yaktar. It's funny. With the... Um, Skeletons, Jorgen is actually more of a threat to me, I think. So I want to get zombies when fighting him, I guess. I get around here. Explore down this way. Hungry ghost. Don't care about you. Just weak fodder. Now, that dragon I saw, was he a real dragon or a false dragon? Like a ship shifter again. Spatial translocations. I think I have this book. But uh, why, why not? We'll keep the book. Wizardry. It's got... Um, nothing really I want. But I'll keep it by, because I'm collecting my books. Collecting the books. Here's the real dragon. It's a real dragon. Let's go here. Here. I'll put on haste if possible. And anything else I can do? Yes, you can call missiles. Uh, fire, fire. Okay, agony from far away. Yes, I can. There goes half his health. More of his health. He's dead. And now we got this guy around. Whee! I feel a bit more experienced. I'll take that experience. Why? Why? Let's 
go all the way down to the end of the corridor. I'm doing this, by the way. I, I was doing like this short one, but because I was kind of confident I can kill it, but I should be more careful in case these guys can run away. I don't want these unseen horrors running away. Boy, they don't run away in Spore, do they? In a sense, unseen horrors gain a lot less annoying for that, because I don't have to worry about them running away. That's worth keeping. Down exploring this level. Let's go back to layer 2, I guess. Jordan is over there for some reason. Why are you hurt? Whatever. Um, back up. Back up. Let's see if I can kill him. Or hurt him a little bit. Don't care about the ogre so much. Uh, you were resistant to what? You can't regenerate, right? So, somebody knows that I can just keep fighting him until he just basically keels over. And it's fine, because he will eventually keel over. Ah, we'll go back to Lair first. I can always come back to kill him. Enchant scroll, drop. And let's see what this other scroll is all about. Wait here. This scroll is... You speak the word of immense power, you blast it with holy energy. It was a scroll of holy word. And there goes half my HP. Death facts, you know, golf and roaring flames, that's not good. But, that's to be expected. I'm not sure what these books are all about. Let's just drop them all in one big pile. I'm sure there's a reason I have them stacked in separate piles, possibly because I was using some or whatever. But this is drop them all in one big pile. So if I want to, everything's right there to look at. Alright, I need 40% to get to the next level. Alright, so anything I'm keeping or not keeping? Um, I suppose at this point, I don't care about uh, keeping confusion wands or anything that has like, um, Enslavement, slowing. I mean, I could possibly use the stuff, but is this chancing it? Drop the Ram Effects one too, I guess. Freeze up my inventory for more stuff. I should probably have a dig wand at all times at this point. So we'll keep one digging wand. And that's really all I need to do. I need to pick up way more arrows. But, alright, that. Back down to kill Jorgen. Blah, blah. You nice know, to find a pack of centaurs. Here's me wishing for centaurs. Troll skin. Ogre mage. Let's go this way. I don't mind if he hits him up, I just want to make sure I kill him in case he does something. Okay, he's dead. Now with all these guys that I'm going to raise, I'm going to make them zombies. I think he might have died, the uh, dwarf, unless he um, decide one day he's going to uh, pick up new weapons. Why do you go digging around here? He's too close for my liking. 
Well, whatever. I'm gonna try and kill him. Oh, he's dead. Well, was cleared. On to the next. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I figured they were going to quiver, but I didn't want them being, you know, all around me at once. Let's go on this one. And I'll do recall here. I don't mind pulling these guys up, I guess, to it once like this, but um, I definitely don't want to pull up um, a whole bunch of these guys at once. Yay! I just laugh. I'm not praising the fact that I'm getting these guys. What was once a fresh is now glory to find. Fire, 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 fire. Let's go like this. Stand this little for a bit. Hmm, Wolverine. Free experience. Giant amoeba. That can consume arrows, so we'll fire at them. Something to note, I probably should have poisoned Jorgen with my arrows. He would have been a good target since he's got high resistance to being hit, but not exactly going to have... Um... No worry, he's got damage reduction to that too, doesn't he? Do, 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 do. Hooray, a gift. It's a gift of helpful voyage. Gives me a bunch of stuff that I'm probably never going to use. Kill that guy. Trapper spider. I remember Agni first, Vampiric Train after. Like this. And Agony. A little bit of mana back with channeling. I'm amazed I made, I made this far now without channeling. A mimic! How nice. Summoning's free, Nekomi's 13. Well, at least Abjuration is now in the white.
elven fighters. Maybe they got bows. And fire this way. We want us to go invisible for some reason. At least they can't blink, I don't think. Measure hits something. Oh, he's on top of me, wherever it is. No arrows there. Or there. No one had arrows, that sucks. Fine deep bells and no arrows. Hooray! Plus four. Pop, pop, pop. He uses blowgun on me. That's funny. I suppose it makes sense, but it's still funny. I'm in a crossbow. Stone giant zombie. Let's do control and dead. And this. Probably don't even have to bar. Well, I suppose there's one thing about poor projectile firing. I don't have to prompt myself every time I want to fire at him. Always oh, gone. Everything's coming after me. Uh oh, I ran out of normal arrows, didn't I? Well, I was gonna fuse these eventually. Fire, fire, kill you. Lots of damage from Freezing Brand plus Purple Brand. Normal arrows. Why do I have a staff of fire and air anymore, I wonder? I suppose if air, I, I could use it for this uh, quick resistance, but... Stop exploring. How much have we spent exploring? Only about 40 minutes, so I can do a couple more floors, maybe get to 20. If it goes easily like this. But then a fire crab jumps in and I'm like, oh shit! I got conversation on. Maybe I can do this. I'm firing the wrong arrows, aren't I? This is where I want to fire a cold. This fire um, cranes and stuff you can't see. It's a shapeshifter. I 
Maybe it's a demon, I don't know. Or is it unseen horror, and I guess got lucky killing it? Don't know. It's out of the way. Let's go this way. Quiver fire, I guess, for these guys. Well, he's dead. He's out of the way. Gold. Go really here and here. Centaur warrior and ogre mage. And this is actually a good place to find him because he's right behind something. Pop. You hit me of what? Arrow of Frost. I don't have cold resistance. That might hurt. Whatever. Um, let's do this as Aphrom. He goes invisible, so that guy isn't um, capable of banishing me, at least. Uh, I'll take these two guys up here. Stare Dance. Only how you do it. Stair dancing. Down. Up. Pain these guys a little bit. I don't care if they kill my guys here. They're expendable. Down. Well, Center War is all the way back there, but, um,. Ow. Ow. You're out of the way. You ran out of arrows. That's funny. Okay, I managed to... To a Hydra. Looks like we've got one of those floors where it's just a lot of boxed rooms over and over. Oh, yes, finally. Oh, yes, more ammo. Charge, so you can't do anything. Kill you. Charge. Do that. Pick up arrows. I'm going to love this in a moment. It's going to be something good. It's going to be something good. My instincts must say, it is good. It has to be good. Hooray, four or five. All right, let's see what this does. Read, um, identify, we won't do that right now, but we'll do remove curse after I put it on. It's got negative one on it, but it also gives resist neutral, that doesn't matter, invisibility and stealth. It's not a bad hat to wear, I guess. Eh, who am I kidding? It's terrible. Drop it. Stupid damn Randarts. Find a first good thing is crap. Um, you could banish me, but I'll take a risk. Actually, we'll do Agony on first. Then we'll projectile you with, uh, Flaming arrow. And you're out of the way. Back up. 
Fire, fire, fire. Probably don't even need to use poor projectiles, kill him with agony. Under here draining. Turncat was a thing, I'd probably care about it, but it's not really a thing. Spiked helmet, that's better than normal helmet. True one dead. Let's just re use regular arrows now that I've got a bunch of them to fire at. To Attack him. Oh, you're dead, and I'm level 20. And I got a rock worm. Yeah, I'll take that, Spike Helmet. Piece of metal headgear, and being spiked, it should give me a headbutt attack if I want to. Emily, I thought it's gonna help me a lot, but still better than the current thing. of nothing. Drog alter, choco, deep elf mage. I don't even care about the red wasp in front of me. I just realized that my character looks like an idiot, and now I've got more ammo! Woohoo! Yeah, let's control these guys. Oh, they all got killed. Killed you, 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 raised. Eh, don't see anything there to care about. Stone giant zombie. Bat skeleton. You're a harpy? Stupid thing. Can barely tell harpy from other stuff. Let's hit you with this. Move like this. Kill you that way. Oh, more loot. Blangler armor, elven whip, gold. Eh, nothing I really want. Neba, vampire. Ah, we'll go up to Neva first. A lot more dangerous. Agony. Pain. Oops. It sucks coming back from Tome because I'm so out of place and dungeon crawls on soup. Kill him. Norris! We're gonna do a quick agony. 
circuit power he's resisting. So we're going to recall. I'm going to do haste. Ow. It's not using a holy scimitar, is he? It's just a Virgo scimitar he's hanging away with. Works quite bad. Ow, 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 ow. Probably didn't do that. There we go, he's dead. Couldn't survive the onslaught of arrows being shot in his face. How'd you get the spell on dead? I haven't really come across any undead that was really, you know, threatening, but... Uh-oh. I just got shafted 20 right next to a staircase. Better get back up. Done. Gonna go down there, I know he's right. Um... This. Yeah, why not? We'll pick up two. Agony deal first. Pain. Pain. Bring them all back up. We'll do a recall. Do that. You're dead. You're almost dead. You are dead. Agony is now down to 1%. How is Zeus looking on uh, this side? Agony's almost at full power. That's okay. I suppose I'll keep training up Necromancy to 15. And I'll get haste up to 15. It's funny how I've almost got full power on haste. How's this look? Slowly train it all up. I care about these guys by potions. Here, my however, I do care about a little bit. I want to back off and haste and blank, 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 blank. Can't bear it. Actually, wait. He went back to sleep. Foolish, foolish slime. You will pay for going back to sleep on me. Okay, let's see what's at the other staircase. This level, is, it looks to be like one of those um, circular open levels. So, just to sort of map it out a little bit, I'm just going to jump down. I've been doing this all, actually, to all these staircases. Frederick! He iron shot me in the face. Let's go up with him. Let this do vampire draining. Iron shot me again. Hopefully he doesn't hit for over 70 on an iron shot. Uh, let's do this. Back up. Oh, he died. Excellent. I might have trouble with him. Hehehe, <laughs> ammo. Go here. Probably should be really careful walking in front of his path at the moment. But you're dead. I got enough arrows now for a while. Happy arrows. Elvins, or not, not Elvins, like some other stuff. Go up, just kill these guys.
just cherry picking these guys off one at a time. Probably don't need to agony anything twice. It's a bit overkill. Agony stuff once. Let's go up. Yaktar. There might be more. You're dead. Doesn't seem to be more. Okay, we got up to the top here. There's a cloak. Ogres. A little spider. This way, there's a torment scroll. My favorite type of scroll, right? Because guess what? It doesn't affect me. Centaurs or Yaktar. Oh, he's got a friend. Let's kill you first. Get those guys up. I can take them both, I think. Let's do this. Now. Out of the way. Yay, a book. A powerful book. I love powerful books. Swiftness. Shroud of Gulberia. Flight. Warp weapon. And control blink. Out of the stuff in there, control blink's probably the most useful. Not sure I'll get it, but... More arrows. I the amount of arrows I'm getting. Centaurs! Hooray! Do this. Um, do haste. And char... What? I already know where the vaults are, so that's a mimic. Charge! And drain! And drain, and drain! Now you're still wielding a bow. Wielding a glowing longbow. So that guy's got a cursed longbow. Stay away from that one. Control the undead. Pick up all the stuff. Except for the glowing longbow of cursedness. I'm burning because I'm going to pick up so many of these damn arrows. Out of the way. Um, I'm not going to just, you know, leaves level until I'm ready, so we'll come kill this guy first. Finish this point level. That's what I'm going to do. There's the way down. More orcs. Kill these guys. Actor zombie. Oh, 
Almost done this level. Done exploring. So, trip back. There's a trap. Managed to uh, clear down to level 20. That's pretty far. Killed Fed Frederick, so that's pretty cool. Killed Louise, killed a few other uniques. Ugh. All right, let's go back to layer two. I'm pretty happy now that I've got arrows, so I can use those. I'm gonna keep carrying around the frost and poison and all that crap I've got, but. Drop 25, fire, leave you no know, 25 of each. Don't really care about poison, we'll keep that around. Drop number 100, O. Oh. Drop these books, don't want them walking in a cloud of flame. And I'm, I guess I'll keep the torment scroll. It could be useful in um, a situation where I want to take out you know everything in the vicinity. It might be better to keep it for just the vault guards. Don't really need for you know vault guards so they can just stare against them. Number five D. Drop the scroll of torment. I only have so many scrolls of teleportation at once, so drop at least three teleportation scrolls. I picked up a lot of lightning, paralysis, I think disintegration too. I'll drop off paralysis, I don't really need it. So I'm pretty happy. I don't know if I'll be doing vaults anytime soon, but I'll keep clearing a dungeon for you know the off beat um, runs, and then we'll slowly work our way into the new vaults and see what it's like in in truth, how uh, difficult it is, if it's risen or not. So I'll see you guys in the next version or next video for. Um, I suppose I'll do that little just to tell you a little bit about my plan to do in the near future. You probably knows I'm not really doing the Mummy Necromancer a whole lot, and it is partly due, I guess, to the fact that I am playing Tome, but it's also partly due to the fact that I'm just bored playing the Mummy Necromancer. It's just, it's not a really fun character. It's got, like, you know, I'm playing, like, a, pur pur a pure Archer character with Necromomacy. It's kind of boring. But I'll try and, you know, try and get this run done. I'm going to try and do another run after this. The, um, I'm thinking I'm going to do the Cronin Conjurer, which I had in my list. And after that, if I'm still bored, I'll just go until the next version. And if not, I'll continue going from there. So that's my plan for Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. And that should be it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed.